To breaking news in the last few minutes or so that Paul Pogba banned from football for four years after failing a drugs test last year. A former Man United midfielder hasn't played for his uh, present club, Juventus, in Italy since September. The ruling means French footballer can't play until August 2027. Uh, Pogba is expected to appeal against the ban. Let's try and find out what's going on here. We go to the BBC Sports Centre. Tanya Arnold's there. Tanya, talk us through what we know. So it was back in August uh, last year that Paul Pogba was taken for a random drug uh, test. He was an unused sub uh, substitute for a Serie A game against Udinese for Juventus. In September, he was banned after the A test came back positive for testosterone. He asked for the B sample to then be tested. That too came back positive in October. The prosecutors asked for the maximum ban to be imposed of four years, and today that ban has been imposed. Now, Pogba turns 31 next month, so that takes him to 35 years old. So this ban, if he's not successful with his appeal, could well mark the end of Paul Pogba's career. And he will be very well known to uh, many football fans, but just uh, give us a, a reminder of who he is. Well, he came through the, the uh, ranks at... Manchester United made a handful of senior appearances but left for Juventus after refusing to sign a contract with United and it was there that he started to really hit the heights and Manchester United brought him back to Old Trafford for £89 million in 2016. It was then a record in English football. In 2018 he won the World Cup with France and was a star player for his country but at Manchester United he showed flashes of that brilliance but never was quite sustained at those levels throughout his Manchester United career in the Premier League and left again for Juventus in 2022 but he's had an injury plagued time there and now it looks like his time could have come to a sad end. And looking ahead now uh, an appeal or just talk us through is there what, what, what remains of the process? Well, he has always pleaded his innocence in this case and his agent said that while he was suspended, he was training hard, expecting to be cleared. He said that taking the substance was accidental. So we would assume that he will appeal the, this um, challenge. But, you know, he has failed a drugs test. It's, the B sample was positive as well. So unless he can actually prove that that was accidentally taken, would, chances don't look great. Tanya, thank you.